Morning folks, how are you doing? So I'm Des Catties out in the woods. Um, coming out for a bimble today. And uh, not doing much really, nothing planned as such. Which probably makes them better really. I'm just trying to find a little spot for me to go and uh, set up. I think over there looks good. Got me new, uh, that bag by Cybertron. See that there. So it's got all my bits packed in now. And uh, I'm just going to get a brew on actually. So, uh, we'll just see how it pans out. Just let the camera run.
got the pot on. And there's that pouch by Cebatron. As I say, it's quite a nice bit of kit actually. I think for me though, uh, for, some, uh, for someone that wear, that uses a day sack or a rucksack all the time, to so sort of go into a shoulder bag is a bit of a transition, I think. Something I'm not used to, but it's sort of, uh, I think the benefit maybe of having a shoulder bag is the fact that you've got more access to it easier than you have a day sack. You have to keep unhooking a day sack off your back and all the rest of it. Um, if I keep using it for uh, going out, which I probably will, I'll probably use it just for the day, for the, uh, for the uh, trips out with the dog as opposed to using it for stuff like this. I think it's just a little bit too bulky for my liking but um, we'll see how it goes. I think, the, uh, I think my water's, uh, water's boiling away there. Bad bit of kit, especially a bad bit of kit for 20 quid as well. I'm like a uh, proper place with it, really, so far. Anyhow, It'd be rude not to. Charcoal. Hehe. <laughs> be rude not to make some, wouldn't it? literally just putting a little saw cut into each of these branch into this birch branch so that I can govern the size of the bits of wood that go into the uh, into the actual stove. I might have to cut that one a bit deeper. Oh. dry out here. We've had like no rain for weeks. So uh, I'm sure that'll all change soon. One thing I'll say about that bag though is that obviously because of the uh, knife laws and everything in this country the, uh, my own problem that I have is that I can't pack my wildlife hatchet in now because it's just too big. I mean it's still small but it's obviously too big to go into a bag like that and I'll be, I have to sort of walk to the streets to get up to the woodland where I go. 
so um, that's my only thing I feel a little bit sort of naked with not having my uh, with not having my axe with me uh, I've got my I've got my Ben Alford knife and my, my silky saw but um, I've got to admit I do miss my axe not having that with me but uh, hey ho some new editing software I've downloaded some stuff for free because I've had some comments especially from um, Mark Y Explorer um, and he sort of said to me you know like why don't you um, try and sort of do your videos um, sort of edit them a little bit you know a bit nicer I suppose and then maybe I might increase my subs I don't really know I'm gonna give it a go though but it's gonna take me a long time to sort it out because I'm not really that techno sort of um, orientated or anything like that so if anyone can help me and point me in the right direction I'll be much appreciated um, uh, I'm gonna try and calm down with my language as well um, I'm gonna try and sort of not swear too much I don't know if you saw in the last video when I was actually just saying the Cybertron but there wasn't an F word that come out of my mouth and I'm hoping that I'm not going to be able to do one today either. This is a bit of a rite of passage for me, really. So I'm going to sort of stop swearing in my videos. Um, I think because some people like it and other people don't. And I think I'd rather sort of... I'm trying to keep them natural, but obviously with just that a bit bad language. The odd word might slip out every now and again, but that's neither in nor there. All right. But um, I want to try and sort of... I want to try and get my sub base up somehow, folks. And I really don't know how to do it. I've been watching some... Um, it makes me laugh sometimes when I look through the list of some of the other videos that are on YouTube and it's like I really don't know sometimes where they're coming from but you know there's some really there's some sh maybe my videos fall into the shocking category but there are some shocking videos out there with absolutely millions of views and I phew, can't get my head around it how it happens I really don't I'm obviously you know, maybe I need to do it in my underpants a bit more like I said a while ago trying to calm down a bit with the language. So how's the weather going where you're coming from? I know here in the UK we haven't had no rain for a long for quite a few weeks now. It's very sort of unusual. Um, it's not a bad thing. I, I think the only thing is really it's just a bit too dry now. I notice when I go up the field to my dog it's a bit too dry. There's one of the paths that I ran on last year where I did a where I found the giant puffball mushrooms and all that along there. There's plenty of plums and all that plum trees and everything else. This year there's nothing. But on saying that the slows are really sort of uh, coming out and so are the crab apples. I know it's a lot of crab apples coming up on the trees. But um, for, but for the softer fruits and that I've not noticed them. Um, it seems to be uh, to so say if you want to make some slow gin and all that sort of stuff this year then it'll be a good I think it'll be a good harvest this year because it looks like they're you know it's gonna be quite rife but for mushrooms and stuff like that I think we might be a bit I'll push for some but then again I'm no mycologist. I on the subject of mycology quite recently I think I've said to you before I, I you know I um I like listening to podcasts kind of help my um, day go you know help my day go quicker at work as it were and I listened to one quite recently that was an old one on um, the Joe Rogan podcast and I will the guy's name's Paul 
Paul Schwab or something like that, I'll put a link in the description at the bottom. And if you've got a sort of couple of hours spare in the evening, stick a set of headphones on and go and have a listen to it. But basically this guy's a mycologist from America. And he's basically just talking about mushrooms and stuff like that. But then obviously he goes into a little bit about hallucinogens and stuff like that. But the actual article, the actual um, the podcast itself is actually was really interesting, really good. I've kind of kept it on my phone. Actually, if I get my phone out, I can tell you it is. Bear with me a second. So yeah, as I say, it's really, really, really interesting. guy's name oh sorry it's Paul Stamets okay so it's Paul P-A-U-L and then his surname is S-T-A-M-E-T-S and that was on the Joe Rogan podcast so I mean I, I, I actually have the um, podcast addict app on my phone and it helps me just download podcasts I mean I listen to conspiracies I listen to all sorts of shit really and it's not I'm not a conspiracy, conspiracy head or anything like that I just find them quite interesting quite entertaining um, but um, this one I listened to quite recently with Joe Rogan because obviously he has all different because he comes from a background of martial arts and stuff like that he has loads of different guests on there all sorts of people and um, as I say this one that I listened to quite recently from this guy Paul Schwab it's actually um, pod, if, you are, if you are interested you are going to have a look it's actually podcast number 1035 Okay, so when you go through the list and you have a look, there's obviously a number against each podcast that's been up there. Just have a look at what if you ever if you do go on podcast addicts and you're interested, and you want to have a look at Joe Rogan's ones. Go down to uh, say 1035 and you'll see Paul Stamets. Download that and have a listen to it. It's about uh, two and two hours and twenty minutes. You know what I mean? But when I'm at work, that's nice for something for me to listen to. All right, maybe some people can't. You know, don't want to do that, but you know, interesting all the same. All right. Smoked out a bit now. What's going on here? So, um, um, another quick one, folks. A little, a uh, long while ago, I, I got this stove, and um, I got this stove from a company, and um, I did a couple of videos, put them up on the channel, and, and it looked like that a lot of people give me a lot of good feedback, and they were interested in purchasing one. And um, I got an email back from them saying that they wanted me to edit the video, saying that um, saying that I mentioned something about a discount. Okay, and apparently whether it was me or whoever, but they were saying that some people were going over there, kind of expecting a discount. And it kind of really annoyed me because I don't have companies come to me. I'm not big enough to have companies come to me and want me to, you know, try out their kit and everything else. And I got really annoyed about it. Really, it really, it really peed me off um, because I thought to myself, you know, I, I use kind of a bit of free advertising. If 10 people went over there and they did give them a discount of even 10%, 5%, they're still making money back on their stoves. And it just, it really, I couldn't get my head around it. So in the end, what I did was I deleted both the videos because I just, I thought, what, you know, why should I? You know, because I was doing it off my own back. I wasn't trying to offend anyone. If anything, I was trying to promote people. I was trying to promote their company. But it obviously backfired on me again as usual. So um, I didn't do it, you know, so I kind of deleted those videos, okay? Um, as I say, you've seen that shoulder bag that I've got. Not a bad bit of kit. I, as I say, it's something a bit new for me to use a shoulder bag. I don't normally use a shoulder bag. You often see me with a day sack or a rucksack, so to use a shoulder bag is a bit different. But um, it's okay. I mean, everything's to hand. A lot of the stuff that I took out of my day sack went into there. I haven't got a tarp in there and stuff like that. But ideally, I did buy it for just going up the quarry with a dog, maybe stick a water bottle and a brew kit in there and stuff like that. It wasn't supposed to be as bulky as it is today. Right, but I wanted to try it out and see what it's like and it's not bad quality wise I mean obviously it's early days yet but um, yeah no, it's okay I mean whether or not I go back to using my day sack instead of that I probably will do when I come up here but if I'm doing something local then I'll probably just um, I'll probably just use the shoulder bag so um, yeah there it is All right. the charcoal's done 
get my knife out. My Ben Orford Nomad, still going strong. These are pucker knives. bung that hole with a twig and it's not big and it's not thick enough to go in the hole. Let's try that one. Divi. See folks I can't multitask and talk to you. I wasn't even talking to you lot then was I? Okay we'll bung that up there anyway. So uh, yeah so it's not really I'm not really doing a great deal today. I'll probably just flip up the video. What I might do is I might even have an attempt at editing this one see how it comes out but you know I'm not promising anything but I am going to give it a go so thank you my Mark Y Explorer I am going to have a go at editing them and see how they come out maybe if I can just try and get some more um, subscribers Cheers folks. I'll catch up with you in a little while. I'll do another video. I might take care.